hi guys welcome to my channel so in this video i want to talk about portugal job seeker visa yes this visa allows all non-eu individuals to come into portugal and seek for employment yes you heard me right yes it is not visiting visa no it is not visiting visa and this visa does not require you to write any hyatt you don't need to write any english test and you don't need to write any portuguese test at all in this visa you don't need to have any job offer no job offer required not any english test no portuguese test no form of english no form of languages test at all and no age limit in as much you are 18 years you can apply for this visa and this visa it is uh, initially four months then you can apply for extra two making it six months during job hunting then after you might have gotten your job then you apply for your resident permit resident permit allows you not only to uh not only to work and live in portugal but also to have access to education or security for you to have access to amenities social amenities for you to have access to care and for you to also bring in your family and it's you can later uh, apply for permanent residence which can also lead to citizenship this visa allow non-eu individuals to enter into portuguese job market leading to a work visa and finally to a resident permit guys this is a very good visa type that you should try out so let's go into the details and the requirements and everything this visa costs just 75 euro which you are going to pay at the point of application the requirement number one you need your passport you need your international passport then you need a photo passport schengen requirement there is you know every country has their own kind of passport so when you want to snap just tell them you need a schengen passport type so they will take that picture it has a way they snap it it's different from american it's different from canada and others then four months euro passive that uh insurance policy you need a four months insurance policy let me advise you on this insurance don't pay insurance with the airline or you'll be buying your flight ticket from don't pay insurance with them because you need their, their own insurance is different from this insurance so i would advise you that when you get to the application center the visa application center for portugal pay for the insurance for their own insurance over there it is just 38 pounds 38 euros sorry not pounds 38 euros so just pay for their own insurance they will give you the details you just pay there most of your payments will actually be at the uh visa center then another thing is you have to book flights yes you have to book flights you have to show them that you book flights you have to make an airline ticket reservation up to four months then hotel reservation as well so i would advise you to on this one because we did it just make sure that when you are making your own reservation make reservation with hotel that allow you to pay when you get there so that you won't spend much when you are still in your country also you need a police clearance certificate yes like a police report from your country you need it then you also need a cover letter i will post a format of it on my page so follow through with this post okay you need up to three month bank statements you need to show you you have enough money in your account up to three more bank statements and it will be equivalent with the uh minimum wages in portugal 75 at euro yes make sure you you show that you have that so you have to present a bank statement that shows you have 705 euro in your account to run a proof of fund no just uh show them that bank statement then you will need a, a a mandatory job seeker form i will post this one too you have to you, it's part of the requirement is a form that you need to fill i will go to the website and show you every details i think i will post the video after this video everything all the details will be inside that video so go check it out you will get the form from iep so i'll post it okay you also need a criminal record check at the immigration from uh is S um, sef there is a criminal immigration check that needs to be done at the immigration center 
Then lastly, you need a job seeker form. There is a form for that. I'll post the link for that job, for that form. You need to fill the form and print it out and bring it to the application center. All these things I've listed. Make sure you have them. You need to be prepared before you apply for this job seeker visa. So the application process, ensure you have all these documents. Have all these documents, everything I've listed have them secondly you need to schedule an appointment let me give you these tips even after you might have scheduled an appointment with them online because visa application dates are almost filled up fastly so i would advise you to send a mail to them send a mail to them that's what we did during our own we sent a mail to them and they gave us like they gave us the second day no the third day we sent a mail on monday they asked us to come on wednesday or so yes wednesday for our visa application at the consulate some call it uh, visa application center consulate embassy you know vsg so just send a mail that's the fastest way to reach them why make it a schedule with them or sending them mail select your country of residence where you are maybe you're in ghana you're in uk yeah you wherever you are nigeria wherever you are you are in uh, India, anyway, just put it there and follow the process so they know when to send you dates and orders. Do you get me? That is it. Finally, finally, carry all your documents, pack everything, and know when after they're giving you date, pack all those requirements, all those uh, documents I've listed, pack everything and allele -ale to the uh visa center to visa application center. Every details, pack all the documents. And over there and go there they'll call you you do they will verify in fact these people I like the way they do their stuff they will verify everything before you leave there they will verify and you do your normal thumbprinting days and days and you are good to go and that is it and their visa is 15 days 15 working days exactly we got our visa during our time because the, all their processing tourist visa visiting visa job seeker visa everything is the same the only thing that is different is the documents required so <clears throat> this are this is everything you need i will post the link i will post the form i will post everything in the next because this video i don't want it to be too long so i'll post that so guys this is a fast route to go to portugal this is a fast route to to migrate to relocate to portugal and these people they know that you want to come and be living in there so there's no hiding and seeking anywhere so provide the rightful information do you get so instead of you wasting your money on visiting visa and you say you want to go there no don't don't try that. just don't just go through uh, this job seeking visa it is the fastest way to relocate to portugal that is see this this visa <laughs> is shock Guys, it's your if you want to relocate to Portugal and you don't want to go through school and you're finding difficult to get job directly from this place. I think these people actually create this opportunity so that it will be easy for people to come over because they know that it might be difficult for you people to get job from your own country. So it is better for you to come to that country and seek for the job. Do you understand? So while you're going, carry all your credentials. Carry your, there is a form that you will feel that is to indicate what you are doing in your home country and when you are not doing anything but you have your certificate you put it there i will post that again so guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please let me share this video to your friends and family give me a thumbs up drop your comment thank you very much for watching take care bye